Flash of the One. Flash and Foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory. You know, be to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Raka Kodash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of the world. And blessings to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. You know, also listening and learning. Um, and the sincere hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, the nature of this lesson is going to be going into, um, you know, the spiritual fight, you know, that we, um, you know, that we find ourselves, you know, being that way, you know, we, we serve the Lord, you know, the, the scriptures speak about um, in Surah, the second chapter, which I haven't done a lesson on this for, for a minute, um, but it's all the spirit, you know, because um, there's certain things that we go through. That you know, it's for this very, very purpose. Is for us to be able to um, to speak about it. Um, you know, because um, you may have had an experience with certain particular things in your walk. You know that you might you might struggle with from time to time, or and especially now, you know, as you know, the Pesach is coming up, and you know, at this time period, it's a very, very, very trying and testing time indeed. You know, where you know anything is like you know anything is likely to happen. You know, it can go, you know, and that's why we fear the Lord, because we hope that, you know, the Lord will have us, you know, keep the Passover, um, you know, partake of the Passover worthily, um, and, and, you know, take it serious as it is a solemn assembly where we reflect on the sufferings of Yahweh Shai, you know, the things that he had to go through, the things that he went through, and, and you know, the sentiment is this, is that, you know, Yahweh Shai, just before he got, you know, he got, was, you know, went through his time of affliction um you know he was being he was being plagued in the mind you know like um as the scriptures tell you in the garden of Gethsemane you know it was the word Gethsemane which the apostle Elder Gabar I, I believe he did a video years ago and it's going into how it means oil press and Yahweh Shai you know he uh you know he is the anointed that was being pressed you know in the spirit and um you know he was so so pressed in the spirit that he was sweating giant, you know, drops of blood were falling to the ground as he prayed to his father, which, you know, which, you know, again, rules out the whole, you know, that wacky tacky Christian, you know, father, son, Holy Spirit, all, you know, all the same person. And nah, bro, no, hold on a minute. You got it twisted. And who, who was your Yahweh Shai praying to in the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, to have that cup passed from him? But then Yahweh Shai, he humbled himself. This could just speak about he, you know, he was obedient. You know, even to the death of the cross. You know, so yeah, that's one thing that we can learn from. Even though that Yahweh Shai was pressed heavily in the spirit, he didn't throw in the towel because he ended up saying to the Lord, to, to Yahweh, his Father, nevertheless, Thy will be done, not mine. And that's that's the mindset. You know, what can we learn from that? Uh, Romans 15 and 4 says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime are written for our learning, that we through patience. Right, which the word patience means to suffer, man. So this 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 walk comes with suffering. It goes hand in hand with suffering, and it is that point blank period. Like there's no other way around it. Like we got a, we got a drink of that cup, you know. And we through patience and hope um, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That's what the, just to finish off that Romans 15 and 4. So these things that are written for that we can actually go and read that happened. That's that's our that's a part of our history. You know, um, things that happened to Yahweh Shai, you know, the prophets, you know, um, these things that are written before time are written for our learning to apply it into our, you know, our walk as we're serving Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so let me go into this uh, this scripture here. This is Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, and, and, and especially, like I said, especially at this time period where we're about to, you know, you know, keep a, a, a high holy day, you know, known as Pesach, you know, like I said, where we reflect and we, we, we acquaint ourselves, it's a time of, you know, uh, it's a solemn assembly, uh, acquaint ourselves with the sufferings and the griefs that Yahweh Shah was acquainted with. You know, we think about the hard bondage where we was made to serve um, under the Egyptians as well and, you know, and what happened to the Egyptians during, a, you know, that time period where the angel of death 
and there was a great cry in all of Egypt. So yeah, how was shy, man? Like, hey, man. Look, man, we gotta we gotta think about Yahweh Shai, man. We gotta think about what he's coming to do. You know, in this time, in this time period. Okay, being that it's the end of you know um, the modern day Pharaoh, uh, who is Esau Edom, the earth's been given into his hand. The Lord is about to do something worse than what he did to them Egyptians. You know, during the time in ancient Egypt, you know he's about to do something worse because the scripture does tell us that it's going to be a time like no other since it was a nation. So we have to, you know, acquaint ourselves with scriptures, you know, and meditate on things like that too. You know, about what the Lord is coming back to actually do. That the scripture says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? You know, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Even very dark and no brightness in it. So these people don't understand what they're messing with, man. All right? Guys that get weak, they fall out. They start scoffing and scorning against the truth. and Which ultimately, that, that was, you know... The, that was their lot. They were set up to do that. You know, guys that, you know, got seduced by them seducing spirits, adding and taking away from the scriptures. That's why the scripture says, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Fuck him, man. It's this like, and it's, that's the fear of the Lord, man. Knowing that look, the Lord could just, you know, the Lord can just have a man, you know, you know, act the part all this time. And then all of a sudden just take the spirit from him. That's why King David, he said, what? Cast me not from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. The brother just called me. I'll call him back. Call him back You know Take not that Holy Spirit From me man That's what we pray You know we beg You know which the word Pray means to beg Right Hey, hey, hey. Um, there's, there's a scripture That says one verse Pray without ceasing man Alright Pray without ceasing And that's what We gotta do man We gotta keep praying man Especially now Especially now Arkham. Don't throw in the towel man Like Honestly man It can bring tears To my eyes Just saying this right now Cause I I hope that I make it man I, I don't wanna Man, I don't want to be a castaway, man. You know, I want to fight. I want to fight the good fight. I want to be on the chariot. I want to see the Archim that I've seen labor for years. The, the apostles, the elders. I want to see them make it. I want to be right there with them, side by side. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a fucking loser, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures speak about um, he that, you know, having taken his hand off the plow and looking back is not fit for the kingdom. Is that where you want to fucking be, man? I don't want to be there, man. I don't want to fucking be there, man. And this is why, this is why we do this work, bro. And this shit ain't, and it ain't easy, bro. You know, the, the things that we got to do, like the, the mental battles we have to fight through, man. You know, shit messing, demons messing with us on our job, demons messing up with us in our households, man. You got to move into these stupid ass yards with cracked walls and mold on the fucking ceilings, man. You know, these things, we're constantly being oppressed. The scriptures speak about being, you know, the wearing out of the saints. They shall wear out the saints of the Most High and the saints of the Israelites. Look at the state of our nation, man. We're fucked, but we have hope. And that's the thing. Now, don't, don't think that we ain't got hope, man. Like, look at the things that the Lord... See, on the flip side now, don't get lost in, you know, the destruction source. You just, ah, oh, you just done. You woe is me and, you know, you just woe is me and... From the moment you get up, you know, to the moment you close your eyes and go to sleep. No, bro, like, ultimately, man, we got hope. See, that's another thing. See, this is what I'm saying. I said, the Lord, the Lord is a power of balance, bro. You know? Hey, much is given, much is required. So the Lord deals with balance. So here it is now. We're coming up to the Passover. You know what I'm saying? And that energy, you can feel it. They're the same energy that was around during the time. Come on, man, look how... Look how trying Look how You could You know When you read In Matthew Was it 26 You know The um The feast You know The Passover feast yeah, The Lord's Passover You, you could have cut the tension You know In the air with a knife Because at that time It was It was You know It was being uh, vo Vocalized about Who should betray the Lord And at that time Didn't Satan Leapt into Judas Iscariot you know, and everyone was asking, is it me? Is it me, Lord? Who's going to betray you? Is it me? So you how I had to deal with that too. Imagine that. Okay, and Yahweh I knew. Yahweh I knew who the betrayer would be. But he still had to deal with it. He still had to, you know, he still had to maneuver amongst that energy. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then the, the, the thoughts of him getting physically harmed. You know, getting, you know, the scripture says his visage was marred more than any man. Then there was that that he had to think about. So Yahweh Shai is a true soldier. 
Like, he didn't throw in the towel, man. And where would we be if Yahweh Shai threw in the towel? And you got these fucking ungrateful brutes talking about we ain't got to worship Yahweh Shai. They don't want to give him his respect, man. It's like they want to be exalted before the, the Lord, get, you know, establishes his throne. Like, he gets his vengeance, man. No, man, we got to, hey, Scripture says, kiss the sun. Lest he be angry with thee. We got to lift, lift up Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, bro. You know? So, hey, this is a this is a serious time period that we're in, man. Okay, and Esau, he's making great strides for that NWO. Remember, the script the scripture says the deceived and a deceiver are his. The Lord controls the right hand side, but he also controls the left hand side. This technology that's that's being turned up and being pushed to the forefront, you know, the, these uh, brain chip implants, and Esau is pushing that chip because the Most High is doing that. Okay, but ultimately it's the most highest chip We cannot forget this, man The hour of temptation We're just hoping that the Lord keeps us From taking that chip We're hoping that the Lord puts Because the scripture says In Revelation 3 and 10 Let me get you that scripture Because thou hast kept the word of my patience Patience means to suffer Keeping the word of the Lord's patience That's why the Lord is making us hate this place even more By putting us through these sufferings man That's why man hey, The scripture says as many as I love I rebuke and chasten Be zealous therefore and repent So the Lord loves you if he's chastening you That means that like, Look at Job man Okay look what Job went through Job went through what he went through Because the Lord sanctioned that that didn't mean that Job was just, you know, Job was just, ah, he just like a straight up demon, man. No. It just meant that the Lord was, was testing. Because when we know, it's in the scriptures. The Lord allowed Satan to fuck with Job, man. Imagine that. So you could be, you could be fair in the Lord. You could be doing, and if you're doing the right thing, then guess what? The Satan's going to, hey, the Lord's going to allow Satan to mess with certain things just to prove that faith. Because ultimately, what do we have to look Look back upon and read upon now The acts of Job And how he said in the end Though he slay me Yet will I maintain my trust in him That's Job's attitude That was Job's attitude So we can apply that today That's why I read Romans 15 and 4 That the things that were written aforetime Are written for our learning That's why we go through this suffering The pain The struggle That's why we go through these things Arkham It's not for You know it's, it, it has a it's gonna have an impact on how we walk and how we move forward as we serve the Lord it helps to strengthen us you know that's why the scriptures say about think it not strange okay about the fiery trial let me get that scripture okay give me a second because I'm driving the fiery trial okay This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Beloved, and it says what? Share the sufferings of Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shai. That's the subtitle. Share the sufferings of the Lord. Share the suffering. We're sharing in Yahweh Shai's sufferings, bro. Imagine that. I mean, I mean, I thought, come on, bro. The Lord's, you know, he said, look, you, you know, he, he said, you, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. The Lord chose us to share the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. Imagine that, bro. Do you know how much of an honor that is? That's why Yahweh Shai, when Ezra, he saw, you know, that young man of a tall stature, right? Who was Yahweh Shai, he was setting crowns on the heads of the men that, that shared in his, in his suffering. That stood stiffly for his name. And standing stiffly for his name goes hand in hand with sharing in his suffering. And you think Yahweh Shai ain't going to honor us for that, man? Wait, I just mentioned about 2nd Ezra, the 2nd chapter. I mentioned about that crowning ceremony, bro. So that say, no matter what, no matter how your turmoil comes, no matter how it presents itself to you, whether it's physical, whether it's your body's getting jacked up, you got all kinds of diseases, ailments, whatever, whether it's, you know, Satan fucking with you, you know, uh, your financial situation or your, your your family. And the scripture says a man's foes shall be there of his own household. It's all in the scriptures to comfort us. Think that's why I'm reading the scripture. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Which is, right? The fiery trial as though some strange thing has happened, happened unto you. Right? Don't think it's, don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trial, right? It's, it's to try us. It's actually set up to try us. Okay? It's to try us, Arkim. 
okay? And experience, the apostles always go into that, how the, the word experience means to try out, okay? It says um, that the word try in the Greek is uh, pirasmos, pirasmos. And it says an experiment, an attempt, a trial, proving, you know? The word being proved, a trial, proving, a trial made, a trial made of you by, uh, by, uh, by my bodily condition. Okay, it says since a uh, condition served as a test of love. Oh man, and how do you show that you love the Lord? For this is the love of the Most High. You know that we keep His commandments, and His commandments is not grievous. That's the biblical definition of love. So we're doing what the Lord commanded us, and as we do that, and the Scripture says, because you can't tell us that anything in the Bible. Right, that, that what you know we're applying to ourselves. You can't tell us that it's of, you know, that it's a wicked vibration that we're putting out. No, bro, that's a that's a righteous vibration. And the scripture says, "He that departed from evil maketh himself a prey." So when you apply these words into your walk, and then you're walking in the spirit, contrary to how this world, these people in this world are walking, you are gonna be uh, tested by them because they don't, you know, that like the scripture says his ways are contrary to our ways. What's that? Wisdom of Solomon, the, the second chapter, man. You know? It says, a trial by a man's fidelity. The word fidelity means faith, right? It says integrity, virtue, constancy. So we're going to be constantly tried and tested, man. That's what the word try means. The fiery trial, which is to try us. Okay? Perasmos. Alright? It says an enticement to sin, temptation. The hour of temptation is coming. Right? It says, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstances. Now, there's circumstances that we're going to be placed in, man. And you can't tell us that there ain't going to be no trial, man. Come on, the guillotine, having your head, you know, chopped off for this truth. That's an outward circumstance. But guess what? It's still a trial. It's still a trial. It's still, a, it's still to prove our integrity. And that's the hour of temptation, man. And for all these guys, all right, they ain't warning you about the true time of temptation, the hour of temptation, the mark of the beast. They're telling you that it ain't the chip. They're going off. Hey, the blind leads lift the blind. They shall both fall into the ditch. And guess what? You are going to fail that test. Okay? That when you were tried, you, hey, man, you just, you, come on, man. Because the Lord said he's going to uh, 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 try man, every man's work of what sort it is. Wood, hay, stubble, whether it's precious metal, stone. Look, man. Every man's work is going to be put to the fire. It's going to be put to the test. Okay. Let's go down here. It says, Of the, the, the temptation which by the devil sought to divert Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, from his divine errand. Look at that. So Satan, oh, see? See, that's gone into another. See, when you go into these words, that's making me think about, you know, um, how Satan messed with Yahweh Shai. He tried to tempt Yahweh Shai. And he was on that fast. For 40 days and 40 nights, man. And Satan was messing with him every step of the way. Alright? If that would be the son of the most high, you know, he was hungry because he was on a fast. He didn't eat or drink for 40 days, 40 nights. Hey, if that would be the son of the most high, command these stones be made bread. That's what Satan came to the Lord with. So he was being tried by Satan. You know? Cast yourself off this mountain. The angels shall bear thee up. Hey, look, man. It is written. The Lord came back to, back to him with the scriptures. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord, Yahweh thy power. You see that? So these scriptures, man, hey, that's why the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength for salvation. So the Lord is gonna like gonna bear us up with this word, bro. Keep us stable with this word. Okay? It's an adversity, affliction, trouble. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming, man. Hey, we've been talking about that. The time of Jacob's trouble, when all hell breaks loose. And you got these fucking these immigrant crises and all of that. All hell, all sh Esau has set up a perfect recipe for disaster and chaos. And these people are just distracted out here. That's why the scripture says, you know, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, man. But here it is. We've been getting tried all the while. We've been going through adversity, affliction after affliction, constancy. We've been going through constant trying, perasmos. We've been constantly been tried and proven, and our integrity every step of the way has been tried. And and even Job, in the end, he, look man, he didn't look man. Though though he slay me, so Job didn't throw in throw in the towel. He didn't 
uh, uh, fall short on integrity. And that's an example that we have. Yahweh Shai didn't. That's an example that we have. He's the ultimate example. Even obedient unto the death of the cross. Getting his, his, his visage was, he was more messed up than anyone has ever been. Emmett Till ain't got shit on what happened to the Lord. You look at pictures of Emmett Till, what they did to him. The Lord was worse than that. Okay. Yeah, how was I, man? Like a sacrificial lamb, you know? Like a, like a, like the scripture says in Isaiah 53. You know, like a sheep that was done before his shares. That's how the, the Lord, he offered himself up. The perfect sacrifice, man. All right, it says temptation. It says adversity, affliction, trouble sent by Yahweh and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, and holiness. Oh, come on, man. So our faith is going to be tested. What comes to mind? Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we through much tribulation enter into the kingdom. So our faith is going to be like that song, push it to the limit. It's going to be pushed to the limit, bro. And sometimes you can get caught up in that, oh shit, I'm getting fucked up. You're just thinking about all the things that you're going through, the mental demons that you got. Your, hey, your personal ailment might be mental demons that you're going through. Or your your personal try, uh, trial might be mental demons. Messing with you, you know, Satan messing with you in your head. May try and make you uh, think certain off thoughts and that. You know? About brothers and so on and so forth. Make you think certain things. You know, get paranoid. and Hey, Satan can do that. And the scripture says, give me no plague, but the plague of the heart. Which the Hebrew word for heart is love, which means the mind. But guess what? It's all a trial. It's all a part of the trial, man. Especially now. We're in the most pressing time. Yeah, how was I was sweating blood at this time? Like, we gotta think about this. Like, arm yourselves with the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. And that's why I'm going into this. So let's get back into that scripture. Right? 1 Peter 4 and, 7, and 12. Beloved, think not strange concerning the fiery trial. Which, and fire is a cleansing element. A cleansing agent, if you will. When you put fire, you know, to certain metals, it, metals, it purifies those metals. And that's what we're, we, we, the fire is being put to us to prove us. To purify us at the same time Right The fiery trial Which is to try you As though some strange thing Happened unto you But rejoice In as much as you are Partakers Of Yahweh Shai's sufferings That when his glory Shall be revealed Ye may be glad Also With exceeding joy If ye be reproached For the name of Yahweh Shai Happy are ye For the spirit of glory And of Yahweh Resteth upon you on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. So this is a rite of passage, man. Arm yourselves with the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. That's what we have to. That's what we have to do. We gotta arm ourselves, you know. That we may be a, is that when we pass and test, that we may be glad when when he appears. Because Yahweh Shai, what's he gonna do? I spoke about that crowning ceremony, man. He's gonna set crowns on the heads of those that did pass the test that did hold up their integrity that was strong and believed in him to the end that armed us armed themselves with the sufferings you know of Yahweh Shai so that's an important lesson that's what I wanted to go into that was the the main core of the lesson man all right set thy heart aright and constantly endure make not haste in time of trouble because the time of trouble is coming all right so with that and that was Sirach 2 and 2 that I just quoted there so with that, like I pray you were edified, just a quick one that I was just thinking about, you know, I had to speak on this because hey, at this time period, I know that there's, I know, I, you know, there's brothers that are going through things, you know, sisters and that, and whatever, going through some shit, mental battles, physical battles, circums, outward circumstances that are set up to try us, man. All right. You brothers, man, you, you sincere arcing that servant, you bearing your cross, just know that, hey, that's a beautiful thing. You know, and hey, and even me, I've been reminded of that today, just through this lesson. And it's not me to speak, it's the Spirit of the Lord that speaks through us, Arkham. So, hey, just arm yourselves, just know that it's the Lord that's got us going through this. Alright? <laughs> hey, like, hey, you know, like the, the saying goes, method to the madness, man. You know? So, with that, man, hey, <laughs> all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that have been enduring and constantly endure. 
and have the stories and experience to tell us of. All right, which is a, a very edifying. All right, double honor to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, shalom to the hopeful elect.